Thank God bless you, Dr. Peepers. It is a joy and blessing when man and spirit join together in search of the great truth and awareness. Might I offer encouragement to my dear friends as you strive to understand the ways of life, as you strive to understand your pathways to fulfillment, as you strive to understand your right to receive and to give love and abundance in this your current and your chosen lifetime. For indeed, my friends, you have chosen this lifetime. You have chosen your father. You have chosen your mommy. You have chosen your society. Your frameworks of politics and education. You chose them. And so you see, you were the creator even before entering the womb of your reality, of your desires and your directions. Why, you ask this night, do you have pain, doubt, fear? Why do you experience and perceive failure, suspicion, competition, Many of you here tonight are seeking to understand the experience of relationships. Interpersonal. Many of you are here to understand the nature of yourself and careers. Many of you are here to understand the nature of your spiritual growth. Many others are here to understand the nature of healing and health. Many others are here to understand the nature to prosperity. Others yet to understand the nature of God, reality. Still others, the nature of Dr. Beepers and the reality that I work with. Still others, the nature of mediumship. Still others, the nature of your own brain, your mind, your heart and your emotional center. Looks like we've got lots to talk about tonight. <laughs> well, my friends, this is the very essence of life, the purpose of life, to explore these very factors. Why? Well, it seems that each and every spirit who chooses to incarnate into the physical body is already in a state of unease. A state lacking in is. How can that be true, Dr. Peters? Because those spirits who choose to incarnate and reincarnate are those who are seeking to understand your intimate centeredness with the Divine Father Mother, with God, with the universe. You are still not quite sure that you are part of God, that you are loved of God. Or you might feel pretty sure about that, but you aren't sure that other life forms on the earth are part of God and loved by God. So for one of the two above reasons, that's why you're here. Your pathway to growth, enlightenment, and release from the cycles of reincarnation is to understand that you are totally loved by God always. That all life forms around you are totally loved by God as well. Not more than you, not less than you. When you know this with all of your mind and heart and soul, you are enlightened. You are fulfilled and released from your cycles. And you will know joy. Now, that doesn't mean you're done. <laughs> That's just the beginning. There are other dimensions, other growth experience that take place through your free will and choice. We suggest to you, my friends, that it is not true that all spirits incarnate. In fact, the majority of spirit energies never have and never will incarnate to planet Earth or anywhere else. The billions of Earth experience 
and other planets are a very small minority, a trickling of the life consciousness. So why did you and I and so many others choose to incarnate originally? Simply because we were on a quest, an exploration, and we were pioneers who simply out of curiosity went on a quest for the divine fire. We already knew of the divine fire, but we wanted to see, simply for play, what are the farthest ramifications and extensions of the divine fire, or, if you prefer, God. And so a few of us became pioneers and went on scouting. In that process of scouting, we became so fascinated by what it is we're scouting, a particular reality, in this case planet Earth, that we began to unconsciously discern and believe in difference between self and other things of that reality, from which grew an illusion of separation through bias, prejudice, and pride. At that point, it is guaranteed that you will reincarnate by your own free will, eventually, you can put it off a few hundred years if you wish, but eventually, you knew and said, all right, all right, quit bothering me, I'll go back on the earth. And you came back, striving to understand how you are one with all life and not separate from. To do that, some of you needed to come into a female form. To do that, some of you needed to come into a male form. To do that, some of you needed to come into a form that had a brain that was not functioning at an accelerated rate. Others of you needed to come into a brain that was accelerating at a phenomenal rate. Others still needed to come into a body that had limitations physically. Others still needed to come into a family where one or both of the parents were violent physically. Still others needed to come into an experience of family where the parents adored you immensely. You must leave you alone for a second. <laughs> Still others needed to come into a family with no money. Others yet with great money. And I tell you, each of those occasions has the same challenge. Just different faces, different forms. That challenge is to disperse diminish the illusion of separation by bridging of the differences and understanding your intimate oneness with all life from which you automatically let go of any need to compete you let go of any need to see yourself as a victim and you immediately become in full consciousness aware of your ongoing and total creatorhood. You are enlightened. All of you in this room can feel joy. You could not be in this room if it were not true that you are nearer rather than farther. Nearer to that fulfillment. For some of you that could be this lifetime. For others of you it might be three, four, five, six more lifetimes. That's not very many. You are near. Most of you have lived a great many of lifetimes, 80, 90, 100, 200, on this planet and elsewhere, striving to remember and know with all of your being that you are loved, that you're already perfect, that you are already part of God, that you're already rich, prosperous, and abundant, that you're already liked and respected. Well, some of those terms feel a little unfamiliar to you, don't they? Because you don't believe them true for you. Not all of them. Or you wouldn't be in the body right now. This is your study. You then can see Earth as a school and be more gentle on yourself. Of course you have things to learn. That's why you're here. You can be gentle on yourself. Give yourself the benefit of the doubt. 